Hello and welcome to another cool smartphone video. Today we're going to be doing a tablet of the Remix OS on the Remix Ultra tablet. So I've had the device now for a couple of days and I'm going to show you how the UI actually works. So this is your home screen. It looks very very akin to how a um, iPad looks um, in that all of your icons are just on the screens. Okay, it's something I'm not a huge fan of um, as I prefer to have widgets laid out and um, folders. Those are the two things that you cannot do on Remix OS currently. I have fed back to the software developers to suggest that they do add these things in. So going through, these are the um, apps that are pre-installed. Uh, their own email client, which is mediocre at best. It uh, required me to set up my cool smartphone email address using IMAP settings that I actually had to pull off the website themselves. It didn't auto find that, which was unusual. Uh, the file manager is pretty good as file managers go. You can do pretty much everything you need to do. Downloads is just a window that opens and tells you what downloads you got. Your gallery is pretty nice. Camera, fairly simple camera UI. Settings opens a mixed up version of the settings menu. The browser is a AOSOP browser and it has been set customized to work on the widescreen calendar is a fairly good calendar tool although personally i will probably just use the google one power manager is not that useful to be honest with you it tells you what your battery life is and that's about it calculator does what it says on the tin app search again does what it says on the tin we'll come back to user feedback and then the last three apps on the list there, you can see Play Store, which was preloaded, pre Gmail, which I had to download, and also Chrome, which I had to download. The other apps that you've got here, with the exception of Notes, App Market, and Google Pinion, were all preloaded. Everything else I have loaded up from my own device. Also, sorry, the RAR app as well for unzipping files. So that's all well and good. However, what you're really interested in is what apps look like when they are opened um, in the tablet mode. So this is fairly usual. You would expect to see that for any sort of an app um, on any sort of a tablet. However, if I now go back to the home screen and let's open up another application so I'm going to open up Amazon for example now what I can do here Amazon this is laid out to be the um, tablet mode however if I press the little menu button down on the taskbar here I can actually request it goes to phone mode it does require the app to restart and Soslo says I pick the app that is not going to work so let's try that again with a different app. So we will try it with Google Plus. So as you can see, the last time I used Google Plus, I used that in the phone UI mode. So it has defaulted to that. Now if I open a cu couple of other apps up here, you can see there's a Google Drive app. And I believe I've also got Another one I've tested in phone UI. So this has now opened as tablet UI. Let's now pop that back down to phone UI. Okay, and there you can see that you've got three phone UI apps all running side by side. So that's all well and good. However, you can't truly multitask between these apps. Um, 
let me try and explain. So if I'm in the web browser and I want to have, say for example, I wanted a Twitter feed to be on the screen at the same time as my web browser, you can see here we're going to have a problem. Although I can place it there, if I tap on the web browser it disappears again. Now this this is a big disappointment because I was hoping that you were going to be able to have this app open and also a phone app pinned on the side so that you could actually have both apps open simultaneously. But alas, the Remix OS in its current guise cannot do that. I have however also asked them if they can look into doing that for the next version of release which uh, would be a really nice addition and it would actually allow the tablet to be used very much like a Windows 8.1 tablet which is what they're actually trying to replace. Um, while we're here I'm just going to give you a quick look at the keyboard again. Now the keyboard is actually not that bad. I have found that typing on it is a fairly nice experience. Let's just type something in. The only real issues I am having with the keyboard are getting used to it. But it's not that bad a keyboard to type on. So, um, But that's a quick overview of the Remix OS on the Remix Ultra tablet. I am going to be starting my review on this device fairly soon so keep it glued to coolsmartphone.com and you'll be able to see that. Thanks very much. Also like and subscribe to this feed if you like what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.